All right, how y'all doing Facebook, YouTube? Today is All Saints Day! Hip hip hooray! Uh, well, that's what I'm saying, but you know, hey, maybe you're saying that, maybe you're not saying that. Well, it's for those, you know, for whosoever. All right, All Saints Day is a, in full of effect. Now, here's the thing, I'm finna teach y'all about what well, God uh, talked to God and Jesus Christ and about the reality of all saints day and how it's supposed to come about. You know what I'm saying? That uh, here's what's supposed to happen, you know? See, look, like I told, did a video about, you know, the number one agenda that God and Jesus desired, if you understood, you know, Ephesians 4, that they desired, you know, I don't know how many times they got to say unity, <laughs> but the unity of the faith and the unity of the spirit and unity of the faith that is about the, uh, supposed to be the number one agenda for Christi Christians and, and the church is supposed to be established is based upon the unity of the faith and unity of the spirit, you know. Oh, and these people are in the spirit you know you they say they are but yet they do things you know programs that you know about their building that you know not about coming together to bring other churches together <laughs> yeah that's the situation that's going on but all saints day is for those that's going to truly be a part of the uh saints of the most high god that you know jesus is coming to rapture the saints of the most high Yes, and that's who's coming, that's who's going up on the rapture. But uh, I'm finna show you the ideal of Saints Day. Now, the first day, the first thing that we're supposed to do all together as Christians, because you know, I guarantee there's no program on television that is talking about celebrating All Saints Day. Your e evangelist television people ain't talking about All Saints Day. Um, they probably ain't talking about the idea, the unity of Christianity, uh, that we all do things like, let me see on the day of Pentecost, what they got in, what did they got in that, you know, the spirit, Holy Ghost came down to, you know, fill them with tongues of fire. <gasps> one accord. Yes. One accord. Yeah. That's what the whole agenda of the church is. It's supposed to be, if it's operated according to the Holy Ghost, it's supposed to be in one accord if the Holy Ghost is involved in it as much, but the results supposed to speak for itself. Now, the thing is, we're supposed to be about the idea, the strategy that Paul presented, you know, uh, in 2 Timothy, you know, 1... You know what I'm saying? Well, when Timothy, second, I mean Timothy talks about you know that we're supposed to be soldiers. You know what I'm saying? We're not supposed to entangle ourselves in affairs of this world. <laughs> no, we're not supposed to participate in pagan things, pagan holidays, worshiping pagan gods. You know, calling days after pagan gods. You know and calling planets after pagan gods the things that are in heaven you know but that's not supposed to be the agenda you know what I'm saying but the agenda is supposed to be all about you know unity of the Christianity I mean it rhymes you think what they would have got it no well the scriptures I want to reveal to you that we're supposed to ask all all the Christians all the Christians, you know, united together are supposed to say together, you know, if we had really truly celebrate All Saints Day. Uh, we're supposed to quote um, uh, First Timothy in one and one through seven concerning this is the uh, scriptures of the the mil the church the military church more likely the militant church. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to quote these scriptures that God gave me. You know what I'm saying? First Timothy, uh, um, I believe one and seven. You know, 
we're supposed to quote uh, uh, for, uh, Ephesians 6, 10, and 18. Uh, Romans 13 and 10 and 14. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 4 verse through the 10th verse. Uh, 2 Corinthians 6 to the starting at the second verse to the 18th verse uh first Thessalonians 5 starting to the fourth verse to the 28th verse really important scripture to you know really important chapter really pretty much uh second Timothy uh four chapter and through one through nine we're supposed to quote these things and these things are about military and understanding that, that we're fighting a good fight of faith, which what that is talking about. That understanding the military mindset we are supposed to have as Christians concerning Christianity. You know what I'm saying? That we need to under, get that mindset concerning us being Christians, period. You know, we're at war against darkness, you know. And we need to understand these to remind us of the fight, you know, of against darkness because and it, we're a team. <laughs> you know, we're not individuals. We're not individual church buildings, but we're a team that, you know, that I believe the church system do not recognize or understand that because of what they do, you know what I'm saying, what they're continually doing, you know. But, uh, and, of course, this should be, you know, uh, the number one uh, military uh, Christian uh, scripture is Second Corinthians, the second chapter. Uh, this no Second Corinthians, the twentieth chapter, and the fifteen to seventeen verse. It talks about that the battle talks about King Jehoshaphat that the battle is not ours; it's the Lord's. When it comes to the natural battle. Because we're so, our battle is really supposed to be about belief that God taught me. It's supposed to be a, I got a message, I'm mean, a youth uh, video of that, that the battle is about belief. Our battle, Christian in the battle, is believing by faith, you know, through grace that we, you know, become Christians. Not us fighting against, wrestling against flesh and blood, you know what I'm saying? But fighting principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places by using the, the, the light of Christ inside of us to expose and reveal the bad guys. Yeah, we're supposed to reveal the bad guys, not work with the bad guys, which I see a lot going on. But now I'm going to go to the, uh, the church triumph scriptures. The church triumph scriptures starts with uh, Psalms 24 in chapter in 7 through 10 you know talks about you know who is the king of glory the lord that's strong and mighty who is the king of glory the lord that's strong and mighty in battle and first chronicles 29 in the 11th verse to the 13th verse that's talking about you know the lord is victory you know the victorious you know god is victorious and psalms 80 Psalms 98 and through 1 through 4 uh, Isaiah 25 and 8 through 9 verse and 1 Corinthians 15 and 57 and 58 which is very important you know what I'm saying as pertaining to the rapture and all that kind of stuff but the thing is, these are the scriptures that we're supposed to do. And, of course, we're supposed to, you know, God said just have festivals. You know, it's supposed to be an All Saints Day, supposed to be a festivals that is pertaining our Christian faith and our Christian walk. That we, each and every individuals, you know, select individuals to testify over their lives. You know, get testimonies, you know, daily. And, of course, you know, concerts, you know, people performing in the community, you know what I'm saying, concerts, uh, 
as one, you know what I'm saying? And having all different kind of stuff to bring unity to Christianity. And, you know, and if you look at, you know, Google, uh, you know, uh, All Saints Day concerning the church triumph and the church militant, you will see an uh, idea that we're supposed to be about a universe. It says the Christian universe, the church universe, that we're supposed to be about a universal mission. You know what I'm saying? That I, I don't think saints really understand that, you know, because a universe mission is... Let me see. The universe cannot be measured. Yeah. It's something way more bigger than the earth. You know, but the problem is we're just, you know, addicted that, you know, this religious false system got us divided and addicted to the earth and concerns about the things of the earth that we don't understand about a heavenly universal agenda that God has and G through Jesus Christ has planned for Christianity that you know we're not understanding because we still operate in division and tradition and religion and it's disgusting what's going on but things are going to change shall going to change if I want to use that word that you know people will know Christianity is going to be Christianity it's not going to be no more religion and no more reason of division and doing your own thing and building your own kingdom but it's going to be based upon the kingdom of God you know and following orders to the king uh, God and his son Jesus Christ you know is what we're going to be all about so there you have it you know what I'm saying uh, I wish you know uh, we, we're supposed to do these all together you know what I'm saying not just your church building but all together Christians are supposed to be quoting these scriptures, you know what I'm saying, together, to understand the togetherness of the oneness that established the faith of Christianity, you know, that established, you know, that uh, the day of Pentecost, you know, when they got in one accord, you know what I'm saying, that we all are supposed to get in one accord, and that is the agenda of the church. And if you don't follow this agenda of the church, you're against the church. It's that simple, you know what I'm saying, that you need to understand what I'm trying to give you. So it's All Saints Day, and I hope y'all saints can find a way to do this with some saints. If you can, come together, call, quote these scriptures together to remind us of the fight in the, uh, of unity that we must become to be a part of the bride of Christ. Yeah. To be a part of the bride of Christ and be considered of the saints of the most high God. Yeah, because, you know, if you don't do this, you really are not really a part of the saints of the most high God. I'm just telling you straight up. You know what I'm saying? This this is about a kingdom. No more. This is not. I know y'all Americans are caught up in a democracy system that you can vote for what kind of thing you want to. No, this is not that. This is a kingdom that follows orders, you follow orders if you want to be a part of it, you, if you do not follow orders, you're not a part of it, it works like that. So understand this, and I gave you what you need to learn about uh, All Saints Day, and I hope you work on those practices next year. But oh, next year, uh, I think it's going. To, the world's going to be quite different next year, you know what I'm saying, I'm very different next year. In, you're probably going to, you know, find yourself doing All Saints Day and plus God a wing too, you know. So I hope you understand what I'm saying and hope you wish you an all, all Saints Day. And I hope you tell everybody about All Saints Day because, you know, it's one thing, you know, the gossip of the things of this world, you know, can spread more quicker than the truth of the word of God, of the gospel of Jesus Christ for some apparent reason. All right, I hope you spread this to everybody and tell everybody about the rules of All Saints Day. All right, to God be the glory to Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.